welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Shanika E and welcome back to another vlog so I have just gotten out the shower I just washed uh, my sew-in and I'm doing some skincare right now don't really have um, anything planned for this weekend I think we're gonna try to begin scratching some stuff off of the summer bucket list today so that should be cool i mainly wanted to kind of start a sunday reset today so yeah i just wanted to introduce the vlog and let you guys know what is going on i just applied this first um gentle retinol i really have been liking that um over my ordinary because it's just a little bit more gentle like the name suggests but i am still using my ordinary niacinamide and sorry if you hear like background noise i told you guys before that my bathroom is right beside my son's room so he is in there doing his thing girl and we're gonna let him do just that but anywho you guys know how wash day is it is a task so I am gonna go ahead and get started blow drying all of this hair. Remember, if you're interested in this hair, this is the Nadula Kinky Straight Hair that I told you guys about in my last video. And I'm more than likely going to be um, blowing it out with my Revlon brush, going in with a little bit of vitamin C brightening serum. <clears throat> for dark spots I picked this up at I think TJ Maxx and it works really well and it smells great it smells like um citrus a really really strong citrus smell but I like it a lot just kind of slapping this on and then um lastly I think I'm going to put on my <clears throat> collagen morning glow by the skin assistant Again, this is another pickup from TJ Maxx. And just a little of this goes a long way. This oil is kind of thick, child. But it does do what it says, which is provide a glow, as you guys can see. And I'm just going to be rubbing that product in with my jade roller. Um, this jade roller is from Timu. So yeah, girl, I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair and I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Saturday. So I am about to run a few errands. I'm going to be treating this Saturday like a Sunday reset, so to speak. We're going to be uh, more than likely getting a few groceries, 
running to Trader Joe's, doing a little bit of cleaning, all of the things. So get in, girl, if you come in. I am still rocking my Nadula hair, loving it down. But anywho, we're about to head to the gas station first because I need to get some gas before we be on the side of the road, okay? <laughs> but we are going to be using our Upside app when we stop to get gas. So shout out to Upside for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So I have worked with Upside before and I truly enjoy the app. So if you're unfamiliar with Upside, it is an app that helps you to earn points and save money. So you're gonna use this app at places that you frequent often, such as gas stations, when you're going to the grocery store. I am a fan of Publix, Shell stations, um, some restaurants, Chipotle, Wendy's, things like that. So girl, in this day and age, every time we go to the grocery store, it feels like with this inflation, things are getting higher and higher. And apps like Upside really do help us to save a coin. And so if you're interested in Upside, I will put all the information in the description box that you will need to get started. I am truly a fan of Upside because it helps not only myself, but my friends and family to save a good coin and we all need that. So let's head to the gas station and get our gas and then we can run the rest of our errands. The free Upside app gets you cash back on daily essentials like the gas that we are getting today. There are over 1,000 gas stations, grocery stores, and restaurants on the Upside app, ensuring that cash back is always just around the corner. And yes, it's real cash back. No confusing reward points or credits, just actual money that you can transfer straight into your bank account. Top upside earners are making as much as $300 a month. To find out how much you could earn, click the link in the description box to download the app and use the code on the screen for an extra 25 cents back for every gallon on your first tank of gas. All right, y'all. So sorry about the car noises, girl. It is hot. It is hot today. It is reading 92 degrees in my car right now and I have the air blasting. So it is hot, hot. But anywho, first up on our errands, we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. I do want to get a few meals for the week. I um, have been watching a lot of Trader Joe's hauls. I haven't been in so long because it's kind of out of the way for me, but I really want to get the griddles that I have been seeing everywhere. So hopefully it's a little later on in the day. It's about almost 10 minutes till 3 p.m. So hopefully they actually have them in stock. Um, and then some few things that I normally always get. So we're gonna head there first. And I also need to re-up on my makeup. You guys know I use Maybelline foundation. So I need to pop into CVS and replace my makeup. But yeah, girl, so let's head to Trader Joe's. ran into both Trader Joe's and CVS I decided to go ahead and do a car haul for you guys so from Trader Joe's didn't get much I got some potatoes their produce is elite in my humble opinion I also picked up some Kung Pao chicken I love this chicken I love the assortment of veggies that's in here it's a savory dish with tender dark meat chicken mixed veggies and spicy soy sauce and ginger sauce really really good i like to have it over like plain white rice 
Um, I also picked up these chicken breakfast sausage patties. These patties are so good. My husband does not eat pork, and so he truly likes these patties from Trader Joe's. When we are not at Trader Joe's, he will get the um, chicken sausage from like Publix or Kroger. It's the Delilah's brand, but this is really good too. This is like a close second as far as flavor profile. I was super excited because they did have the Dutch griddle cakes in stock. I cannot wait to have these for breakfast in the morning. Sharika B paired these back with one of these for like a like old school McDonald's McGriddle and it looks super good. So I'm gonna make myself and my husband one of those in the morning. She also recommended these turkey meatballs. So I picked up these as well. And then lastly, I just picked up some chicken breasts for like um, Cajun chicken salads and things like that. So that is what I picked up from Trader Joe's. Girl, it is so hot in here. Like I'm gonna have to make a beeline to the house so that these things won't like spoil. But anywho, from CVS, I just re-upped on my Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Really? Oh, uh, Matte and Poreless Foundation. It looks like this. Love this stuff. I am an oily gal, so it keeps me fairly matte throughout the day in conjunction with my Morphe setting spray. And then I haven't worn eyeliner in forever. I There was one day, one day where I was doing my makeup and I ran out of my eyeliner and I was like, whatever, okay, I'm gonna keep going. I did my makeup routine without it and loved it. And then I haven't worn eyeliner since. So I've been looking at older pictures of myself and I'm like, oh my God, my makeup looks so different. I'm like, what is it? And it's eyeliner. So I picked up this um, Wet n Wild eyeliner here. Just anything with a um, fine point on it in the deepest shade of black, pick that up. And then a Wet n Wild brow pencil, pick that up as well. So that's it, girl. I am about to get ready to go back to the house because it is super hot outside. Plus, I have a lot that I need to get done as far as resetting goes. I've thoroughly been enjoying doing my um, resets on Saturdays versus resetting on Sunday because it just makes for such a relaxing Sunday. So yeah, I'm about to get ready to head out and I will chat with you guys once we get back to the house. Hey y'all, it is much later in the day. I am in bed. I just had my dinner. My husband made the Kung Pao chicken from Trader Joe's. It was really, really good. And now I am like <laughs> watching reruns of a different world, like just via YouTube. Right now I'm watching the one where Dwayne admits he's still in love with Whitley. These episodes are like so like feel good episodes. It just reminds me of like just so many different spaces in life. Like every time I watch it, like a different emotion comes up. So I'm just uh, vibing out. I really need to go take this makeup out of my face, baby, because it is done. 
but yeah we don't have any plans for tonight me and my family may play like some uno or something like that but other than that we are pretty much good my husband actually cleaned while i was gone to trader joe's so that's cool but yeah i'm just checking in and i'll talk to you guys a little bit later i'm gonna continue watching my clips of a different world like everybody else i'm obsessed with Dwayne and whitley and i see a little bit of myself in whitley so i always empathize with her and i always respect Dwayne's patience that he has with whitley so anywho bye girl see you later needed relaxing bubble bath done a little bit of skincare the skin is skinning these days okay the skin is skinny but anywho i made my son's breakfast he had one of these uh, griddle cakes from trader joe's but before i say that mamas tap in y'all all right because i swear we're like a week two weeks in to this summer break and my six-year-old is eating me out of a house and home. Like, we, we are having to visit the, the, the grocery store two to three times a month now. Like, it's just, it's outrageous. It's outrageous and like, we need some type of support because this, this is crazy with this inflation. I mean, y'all better use that Upside app. Y'all better use the Upside app because this is nuts. But anywho, back to the griddle cakes so these were a hit with my son he absolutely loves the um the griddle cakes so i gave him one this morning he was like you know i'm not really sure he tried them out he loved them but he loved them a little bit too much for my liking this man's gonna say mom i really really like the griddle cakes like they taste better than the other pancakes. I'm like, yeah, cool. I'm thinking he's talking about like the Eggo brand, like mini pancakes, you know, popped up on the screen. I'm like, yeah, good, cool. Then we can, you know, definitely substitute those. He was like, no, the other ones. I was like, you're talking about the ones mommy makes like on the stove? He was like, yeah, they taste better than those. Y'all, I messed around and got my, my feelings hurt behind these forewarning <laughs> because my pancakes buzz you know what i'm saying nice crispy edges fluffy and everything it's like yeah they're so fluffy throughout and i'm like oh, okay that's cool you know i didn't share this part with him but i'm telling y'all like if you don't want to get your feelings hurt don't serve these to your mans or your kids because clearly they're the best thing smoking i haven't had mine yet but I'm about to get ready to have mine now. I try to fast as much as possible in the morning. So it's after 12, so I can have something. I'm also going to go ahead and make myself a coffee on my new espresso machine. A little more about the machine later on, or maybe even in the next video. I've been trying it out for about a week now, and I'm really getting the hang of it. I really like it. If you're new here, your girl loves a good cup of coffee. Okay, I love coffee so the espresso has been doing well i have a coupon code and everything for you guys i will show you again in the next video but yeah let's go ahead and make our breakfast and i need to clean up a little bit um hubby made the dinner last night so we have some dishes in the sink and i need to do that but let's make our our breakfast our coffee and our griddle, McGriddle situation.
All right, y'all. So this is what the breakfast looks like. We have the two, um, again, Dutch griddle cakes from Trader Joe's and then one breakfast chicken sausage. All right, I'm gonna put some syrup over the top and then we can try it together to see if my son is gassing it up too much or is it really better than mine? I happen to be very fond of my pancakes. So let's see. All right, first bite together. Let me use the so much. Hey, son. It is so good. 100% understand why. My son said what he said. It's a different flavor profile than mine. I wouldn't say they were better. It's not my ego talking. I'm just saying. But it does taste almost exactly like a McDonald's McGriddle. Really good. highly recommend we are now going to go ahead and make our espresso super excited this is the Kasha brews machine again i'll give you guys all of the details in a later video my next video but i did want to go ahead and mention it i'll go ahead and put the information for it in the description bar down below if you're interested but let's go ahead and brew us up a nice espresso mm -hmm. 